What is up, people? My name is Tim Buell. I'm a drummer living in Nashville, Tennessee. And part of what I do for a living is transcribe. You might have seen some of my transcriptions that I've done with Ash Sohn, Aaron Spears, the VF Jams Project, and the Zildjian Live transcriptions. So today, I want to check out this amazing solo by Larnell Lewis. As always, you can download the PDF sheet music for free in the link in the description. And stay tuned after the video. I want to give you a couple tips that if you're thinking about learning this, you might be able to use these tips to help you learn it better. So here's Larnell's incredible drumming for his solo on his own song, Change Your Mind, off of his upcoming album. Larnell is such an incredible player and the solo is no exception to that. So I wanted to give you three tips where if you're thinking about learning this or even if you're not thinking about learning this, things you can observe that might help you kind of get into the head, get into the brain of Larnell as he's playing this solo. Tip number one for learning and dissecting this transcription is where these hits are framing his solo. So Larnell is playing around these hits that happen every couple of bars and those hits happen on beat two, and then there's one that follows it in the measure right after that on the uh of beat one. So one, two, three, four, one E and uh. That's where those hits happen. And I know that it seems like that first hit, it feels like it's happening on beat one, but this is a song that I actually transcribed for Zildjian for the Zildjian live performance that Larnell played a couple years ago. And this whole tune is in 4-4 four, four, and beats two and four never change throughout the entire song. I actually transcribed it with cutting off a, a, a measure and making the backbeat change and all this stuff. And Larnell said, no, the backbeat stays on two and four the whole time. Two and four never changes. So I do have a lot of confidence in saying these hits are on beat two and then the uh of beat one. The cool thing about what Larnell's doing is he's weaving in and around these hits. And if you're not comfortable with feeling where the beat is and feeling where these hits are, it's gonna be really, really hard to have all of these, you know, have all this vocabulary make sense to you. Tip number two for, you know, getting into the brain space of Larnell and getting kind of some of this playing under your belt is so much of what Larnell's playing is on the E's and the U's. A lot of this maybe feels like he's just playing straight eighth notes, but they're actually displaced by a 16th note and they're happening on the E's and the U's. <laughs> So if that's something you're really uncomfortable with, this solo is going to be really tough. So I would say work on either, you know, playing some ideas based on the E's and the U's, just basic exercises that are emphasizing all of the offbeats, or take your metronome and put it on eighth notes, but have the frame of reference of those eighth notes be the E's and the U's of the beat as opposed to the, you know, thinking of them as eighth notes. A really great app for that is Benny Greb just released the Gap Click. That's an app you can download. It's great. I have it. It's very, very useful. And they have a setting where you can, you know, play a couple bars of just regular metronome and then it will shift to playing the E's and the U's. And that's a really, really great tool if you want to start practicing stuff like this. When you're playing phrasing that's all based off of off beats, up beats, E's, U's, it's really, really important to play that stuff crystal, crystal clear and really crisply and really, really kind of almost metronomically in time. Because if you don't, the solo has a tendency, it will have a tendency to become real mushy and just uh, ambiguous. And I think, you know, Larnell's playing is so precise, it's so clean 
that he can get away with playing a lot of anticipated ease, us, all of that stuff because his playing is so locked in and precise. So the third tip for learning the solo, getting into kind of Larnell's headspace would be really, 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 really practice measures 26 through 31. This solo, like many great solos, kind of starts off easy and then ramps all the way up to kind of the fastest, most difficult stuff to pull off. And in measures 26 through 31, there's a couple of things to watch out for. One, the fill that is sextuplets, that is the left, left, kick, right, left, right, that he's kind of throwing all around the kit. That's a pretty easy sticking, but it's gonna be really hard to get it up to speed and get it crisp and clear. As well, a couple measures after that, there's some bludgeda stuff where he's playing a bludgeda, and then it kind of morphs into this 16th note triplet idea. That stuff's gonna be really, really hard to get up to speed. You know, quarter note is around 130 beats per minute. I would say that even learn these fills outside of the exact orchestration Larnell plays, I would say orchestrate it a little bit differently. Just get comfortable with the bludgeda. Get comfortable with the left, left kick, right, left, right. Outside of what's exactly in this solo, and that way if those ideas are a little bit better, you know, moving under your hands, you have a better chance of pulling this thing off. So that's it, that's Larnell Solo from Change Your Mind. It's an incredible performance. Remember, you can download the sheet music PDF for free below. And if you could, like this video, hit subscribe. I'm coming out with stuff like this and, you know, I have a ton of this stuff on my YouTube channel. So take a look at all the other transcriptions I have, drum lessons, gear, recording tips, blah, 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 whatever. Um, and put down in the comments, if you have anyone that you'd like to see in a transcription video breakdown like this, put those down in the comments. I'd love to kind of hear what you all are interested in and uh, maybe I'll tackle one of those next. So thanks for watching and I'll see you around in the next one.